for now there's also what we call the economic batch quantity economic batch quantity so it's, a, it's another sub subtopic just like economic order quantity this is also another sub economic batch quantity so the economic batch quantity also known as ebq this one uh, focuses on ordering in batches while well, a batch if you, we can explain what a batch is a batch is like should i say it's like a, a compilation of uh, more than one thing for example you might have like well you can might have like um bottles right so like a like a box of bottles something like that that's a batch so economic batch quantity is mostly calculated by the business to know which batch would be cheaper you know like you want to know if you pack so how much you pack maybe this amount of bottles which be beneficial to the business that's about economic batch quantity so ebq has also a formula so ebq the formula goes as follows So EBQ is actually equal to square root as well of 2COD. Yeah, so what you should know about this, the 2, the CO and the D, they are actually, multi there is a multiplication in between. Um, although I wasn't mentioned in the previous video on uh, on economic order quantity, this, this COD is seen on top there's multiplication in between them so you multiply two times the cost per order then times the annual demand so that's what you do then the whole thing over at ch which is holding cost per unit in open brackets one minus d over r so this is the formula we work with in economic batch quantity if you have noticed the top the numerator there it looks just like the numerator in the economic order quantity it's also 2 cod as well the only difference is at the bottom batch quantity just changes a little bit at the bottom in the denominator where it includes 1 minus d over r the one is just a number the same number one but d is the same meaning as the one in the numerator it's also annual demand what about r r is the replenish replenishment rate yeah so the replenishment rate is also mentioned in the equation yeah they were mentioned okay the a replenishment of so many uh maybe times and they like they will make sure they will mention that for you so that when you're substituting now it's much easier and they obviously tell you of course calculate the economic batch quantity then you use that formula yeah so like under ebq we said co is the cost of uh, cost per order right? this co which is in the formula it's cost per order so under ebq if a question is on ebq they do that calculate the ebq the cost per order sum is uh, noted by this word set setup costs setup costs so just take note take note of this it's very important and uh, should I say yeah, under us is EBQ. If a question is on EBQ, we know that CO is cost per order. Under any normal question, it's cost per order. But if the question is on EBQ, it's actually noted as uh, a setup cost, the cost per order, like just changes only on EBQ, just take note of that.